I pray thee, good Mercutio, let's retire. The day is hot, the Capulets abroad, and if we meet, we shall not escape abroad. For now, these hot days is the mad blood story. Thou art like one of these those fellows that when he enters the confines of a tavern, claps him me his sword upon the table and says, God send me no need of thee. And by the operation of the second cup draws in on the draw, when indeed there is no need. Am I like such a fellow? Come, come, thou art as hot a jack in, in thy mood as in an Italy. And as soon as I move to moody, moody, and as soon moody to be moved, and what to? Nay, and there were no such. We should have none shortly, for one would kill the other. Thou, why thou wilt, wilt crawl, quarrel, with a man that hath a, a hair more, or a hair less in his beard, than thou hast. Thou wilt crawl for a man for crackling nuts having no re other reason but because thou hast hazel eyes. What eye but such an eye would spy out such a quarrel? Thy, I... head is, thy head is in a fan, fun of quarrels as an egg is full of meat, and yet thy head hath been beaten as an as addle an egg for quarreling. Thou hast quarreled with a man for coughing in the street because he has wakened thy dog in a half lane asleep in the sun. Didst thou not fall out with the tailor for wearing his new belt before Easter, with another for trying his new shoes with an old ribbon? And yet thou wilt tore me from quarreling. And I were so apt to quarrel as thou art, any man should buy the free simple of my life for an hour and a quarter. The fee simple, oh simple. By my head, here come the Capulets. On my field, I turn not. For I will speak to them. Gentlemen, good then. A word with one of you. And but one word with one of us. A couple with something. Make it word with a blow. You shall find me apt enough to do that. Sir, and you will give me occasion. Do not take some occasion without giving. Mercutio, thou concerned with Romeo? In sort? What dost thou make us minstrels? And thou make minstrels of us. Look to hear nothing but discords. Here's my fiddlestick. Here's that shall make you dance. Zounds, consort. We talk here in the public haunt of men, either withdrawn into some private place, and reason quote boldly of your grievances, or else depart here, all eyes glazed on us. Men's eyes would make to look, and let them gaze. I will not budge for no man's pleasure. I... Tibble. Well, well, peace be with you, sir. Come, my man. But I'll be hanged, sir, if he were your livery. Mary, go before to field. He'll be your follower, your worship, in that sense, may call him man. Romeo, the hate I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. Okay. Romeo, the hate I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. Sybil, the reason that I have to love thee doth much excuse the opportunity raised for such a greeting. Villain, I am not. Therefore, farewell. I see thou knowest me not. Boy, this shall not excuse the injury that thou hast done me. Therefore, turn and draw. I do protest. I never injured thee, but love thee better than thou canst survive. Still thou shalt not know my love, and so good chapter, which name I come to as nearly as my own, be satisfied. O oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission, a la frontada carries it away. Civil, you rat catcher, will you walk? What wouldn't thou have me with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives, that I mean to make holes of all, and as you shall use me hereafter, drive each the rest of the eight. Will you pluck your sword out of this picture by the by the ears? Make haste. Let mine be about your ears, Arabia. I am for you. Gentle Mercutio, 
Put thy rapier up. Come, sir, your passado. Robin, Romeo, beat their weapons. Gentlemen, for shame, forbid this outrage. Civil, Mercutio, Prince, express the tax. Forbidden, banding, in Verona streets. Hold civil, to Mercutio. I just, I don't, I don't care about crumbs and shit, I don't really care about that shit. Yeah, the game? So. Yeah, no, 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 no. Alright, so. Uh, this is... Now, it's, I have heard a plague on both your houses, I understand. Is he gone? It has nothing? What? Are thou hurt? Aye, aye, scratch, scratch. Married is enough. Where is my page? Go, villain. Fetch a surgeon. Purge, man. The purge cannot be much. No, tis not so deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door, but it is enough for sir. Ask for me tomorrow, and you shall be you shall find me a brave man. I am peppered, I warrant, for this word I plague above your houses. Zounds, a dog, a rat, a mouse, a cat, to scratch a man to death, a braggart, a rogue, a villain that fights by the book of arithmetic. While the devil came to you between us, I was hurt under your arm. I thought all for the best. Help me into some house for Bolio. Or I shall faint. A plague on both your houses. They have made me worms in need of me. I have it. And sound it too, your houses. This gentleman, this prince near ally, my very friend, hath got his mortal in the half. My reputation stained with Tybalt's slander. Tybalt, that an hour hath been my kinsman. O oh, sweet Juliet. The beauty hath made me effeminate, and the temper soft and valor steered. Romeo, brave Mercutio's dead. That gallant the so untimely to hear that scorn the earth. This day's black fate on more days doth depend. This but begins the woe, others must end. Here comes the furious Tibble back again. Alive in triumph, the Mercutio slain, away to heaven, respective lenity, the fire-eyed fury, be my conduct now. Now, Tybalt, take the villain back again, that late thou gavest me for Mercutio's soul, is but a little ways above our head, staying for thine to keep him company, because thou, or I, or both, must go with him. Thou wrench, boy, that didst consort him here, shall with him hence. This shall determine that. Romeo, away, be gone. The citizens are up. Tybalt slain. Stand not amazed. The prince will doom them death. If thou art taken, hence, be gone. Away. Oh, I am fortune's fool! Pleasure.